And finally, Law of the Bedroom, number 144, Respect Sexual Wisdom. This Law of the Bedroom concludes all of the Laws of the Bedroom inside Chapter 6, What to Know and Do While Making Love. So as we complete this chapter and we finish it off, we're going to finish it off with respecting sexual wisdom. Stuff you should know, or if you don't know, you should know. Or if you do know, you can say, hey, Bart, yeah, I, I do know that. And you're right. I respect that. Mm. So to start this off, respecting sexual wisdom, loving your gal isn't always sexual. And I'm sure you know this. It goes without saying. Sex isn't everything in a relationship. A couple cannot live by sex alone. Remember, she's still your best friend. Life companion, confidant, trustee, maybe the mother of your children, and so much more. As your years together accumulate, your bonding really should become more of a spiritual one. Not so much relying on your getting physical, although that's fun, all the time. <laughs> like you did when you first met, you know, memories, goals, achievements, activities, and common life fulfillments ought to be your quest and zest for living life with your honey gal. Like romantic walks, evening sunsets, and late night talks, sex is a gift for the two of you. It is not the end-all, make-all that we've got to keep having more and more and more sex. No. In fact, when you do have sex, don't have sex <laughs> for just a little while. You know, wait until you both naturally really, 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 really grow hungry for each other again. You know, like for example, I'm horny. You're horny? Great. Let's wait till tomorrow. And not that it's going to fade, but you're going to build up for it. You know, just because your refrigerator is filled to the rim with food and drink doesn't mean you're going to go and eat it all in one night. That's ridiculous. You're going to try to make it last as long as you can. The same goes with sex. Just because it's there doesn't mean you should be having it and tasting it and doing it every night. Wow. Talk about a fast track to boredom. Hold off. Starve yourself. You know, kind of like if you're dieting, you're going to eat well for like three weeks. And then you're going to have just a small little cup of ice cream. Just a, you know, maybe even just a scoop. I mean, you're going to have that dessert that tastes so good, but you're not supposed to have it. You're going to wait two weeks. Same thing with sex. Remember, the old adage goes, always leave your customers wanting more. Never leave them fully satisfied. So they'll keep coming back for more and more and more, year after year after year for the rest of their lives. So there you have it. Keep yourself and your honey always wanting more sex. Never leave yourselves fully satisfied in a sense. Always hungry for the next time. Have you ever heard your honey gal say something like this before? Uh, you're not interested in me anymore. I've lost my sex appeal. I want more romance. You don't make love to me anymore. Men, this is a call for help. Her self-confidence, her self-image, and her connection to you is crumbling. And you're the only one who can really save her. Perhaps a few years have passed and one or both of you have gotten a little out of shape. That can be fixed. Perhaps a routine of sleeping together for years and years have drowned your appetite for the fresh flesh and loving skin of your honey gal during times of her arousal. This can be remedied. Maybe you have desires, or she does, that neither of you have communicated to each other. Well, do that. Communicate. Maybe you are experiencing a time in your life where you're more stressed out than ever before, concerned about your appearance, your look, or your performance, and you just can't seem to bring yourself to loving her like you used to. Again, this can all be remedied with an action plan and execution. No matter what the cause is here, what you must do in this very desperate situation is to act now and act fast. Do not let your gal sleep another night alone in her heart, wondering, does he still love me? Will we ever get back to the love we had for each other when we first met? Why is he not attracted to me anymore? I'm so alone in my heart. 
like never before. I'm married, I'm dating, I'm engaged to the man of my dreams, yet I feel so alone even when I sleep next to him. Who can help me? I know of no one. Why doesn't he talk to me about my feelings? Sir, you can help her. Here's what to do. For starters, do you love this woman still? Have you started a family with her? Do you have children? Does she want children? Does she want to marry you? Have you been dating for years and you haven't not, uh, you've not yet proposed to her, you know, quite yet? Then, for her sake and the sake of your future and possible family and the commitment, dreams, and ideas you have placed in her head and in her heart, if you still love her and you're thinking 10, 20 years down the road and you want to stay with her, there's only one thing you need to do first. Simply, you need to pledge to her that you will work on these very desperate, heart-saving situations until it is overcome satisfactorily to her and then to you. She needs to know you still care about her and that you can provide her the affection and touch you once provided her when you first met. Oh, there it is. The secret to solving this very emotional dilemma when you first met. Simply, and actually, ironically, as it sounds, you need to distance yourself from her immediately. And for just a little while, you, sir, need a time out. Time enough to break the routine of familiarity you're both in. Time to step back and from a distance, really look at what you've got. You know the old saying, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. Well, this couldn't be any further from the truth. You see, you desperately need to experience the feeling of really losing her. Then and only then will you say to yourself at night, sleeping alone, Oh gosh, what have I done? Why haven't I been there? I was once. I don't want to lose her. Can't I, we, be again? I want to get back to the old times too. Yes, I know we can. I, the man, have that power to bring us back together. I'm not going to lose her. Honey, I'm coming home. I'm yours. And you'll never have to live another day without me. I love you. Now, isn't it interesting? Like working a job 365 days a year. If you don't get some time off, you know, like that two-week vacation once a year, which still isn't enough, you'll probably wind up jumping out a first-floor window from the stress and pressures and monotony built up inside you from doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Eh? No one can really stick to something day in, day out, day in, day out for years on end without taking some kind of a break. Sure, you could go on a trip together, but truthfully, you both need to get away from each other so you can miss each other. People need time and space to reflect and really view what they've got in a relationship. You've heard the old saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Well, it's true. How many times have you longed to see family that you haven't seen in years? But when you stay too long, well, you want out. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> well, the same thing may be true and, you know, somewhat true with your honey gal. Now, I know you'll see and find her attractive all over again if you'll position yourself away from her for a little while and to the point where you really do start missing her and a lot. What if you both took time off to miss each other? only to find, gosh, honey, I've been apart from you and I'm really missing you. You're all that I can see. You really mean the world to me. I can't stand losing you for another minute. Please, will you take me back? <laughs> and she will, hopefully. <laughs> what do you want to do, honey? Where do you want to go? I'll take you anywhere because I really love you. I just want to be with you. I'm never going to let you go. Because in my heart, I know you belong to me, and I belong to you. Also, we need to develop a relationship before sex. No relationship, no sex. The most meaningful sex comes from within relationships, not before. Remember, 
You can't hurry love either. So take your time. You know? The secret to a long-lasting and fulfilling relationship is understanding the other person in the relationship and helping them to understand you, your emotions, your desires, your quirks, idiosyncrasies, your strengths, your weaknesses, your faults, and your perks. Well, that's just her way, and I love her for it. Yeah, God, she really annoys me when she does that, but I kind of love it. Oh, he can just get on my nerves when he does that, but that's what I like about him. Mm, he's mine. You know, while physical and sexual love can weaken as you get older, the friendships that we create between the one we love, they grow stronger and stronger, which is probably why it's very important to bond with someone that you can truly be best friends with because someone that you truly care about and you're going to share your life with forever? Yeah. You kind of got to be best friends. And then if you can be making love to your best friend, you know, forever and ever. And, and then creating all those memories. You know, when you say to your gal or well, pretty much, yeah, you know, honey, looking back on all the years we've been together, we have made so much love together. I mean, can you imagine how many times we've made love? It's got to be thousands of times. And we're still together. And I think all those times we spent making love together, it's why we are together today and we'll be together forever. Mm. I love you. <laughs>